Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Now I've not gone mad, I've not bought the smallest laptop in the entire world. Now, you know my love for Merlin. I've got I've got all virtually all types of the original, the master, the split second, the everything apart from the one that they remade of this, which is a half a size with the push buttons, but I'll get one eventually. Now, I saw this on eBay. It was only for I think it was nine pound or something, but it's Merlin 2. Now, whether or not it's to do with the original Merlin or not, I am not 100% certain of. So I thought, why not? We'll buy it. If it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. So, I mean, it kind of, I don't know, power button, escape button. So it looks like a little laptop. But there are things wrong with it. It doesn't hold down. I'm guessing that that button on the side there, you press in and then it opens up. Power doesn't seem to come on. So probably a battery issue, but if you look at it, it's got, it's like a little, yes, this is a kid's toy. But it looks like it's a little tiny kid's laptop sort of thing, but there's supposed to be games on here, full QWERTY keyboard. Never had one, never even knew these existed growing up. Full mouse pad. Take two batteries, which is a lot less than this blooming thing did. So I need to try and get these batteries out of here and see if this will work. It looks simple enough to do. <sighs> Didn't actually come out. So I think the sellers obviously sold these with two two batteries in. That don't work. Let me find some triple A's, and we'll see if we can get this thing working to start with. And two fresh batteries later, it comes up with an option on here: reset. Yes or no? As if, if I tilt it the wrong way, it kind of. Uh, can barely see it, so I'm going to look at it like that and yeah, okay. So, reset. I oh, know I'm not going to reset. Is it there? It's not a touch screen, obviously. Escape. Does it even work? Okay, yes. Okay, this doesn't seem to want to work properly, unless I've got no idea what I'm doing, which is possible. Enter, edit, no, space. It looks like yes or no, Y or N? N, no, nope. it's not that then, yes, no, mm. okay. So we've got problems to start with with this, maybe it just doesn't want to work. Come on, reset yes or no. It would look like the arrow keys down here would be yes or no. No. Yes? Okay, I'll reset now. There is a reset button on the back, so maybe just repress reset. It'll come up with lots of different options or something. Once I press reset. Aha. Uh -huh. Reset. Oh god, the display is terrible. Reset, yes or no? Yes. Ah. Welcome. Cal. Okay, so there's a calculator on this. So what have we got then? Six. Nope. Okie okay, cokey. Mode, no. Q. Why is there a Q on it? Why would it turn off? What? What was that? I flashed up with something there. Thursday. The date's wrong. Down. This is. Why does it keep flashing up with the date every so often? Search new, mode, no. Down, up, oh, right, left, down, down. Well, it's definitely connecting to something. Right, Thursday the 1st, can we change this at all? No. Well, we need to dig into a little bit more, I think, on this. Let's see if there's something actually wrong with it physically inside. So let's get this opened up. And batteries back out. That wasn't something breaking, by the way, it was both the battery flaps. 
Okay, so let's get a pot, put some parts in. That looks easy enough to undo. There's two screws there. Looks like there might actually be one underneath that foot as well. Nope. So there's obviously a foot missing from this side. And two screws on there just to get in. So let me get these four screws undone. Let's have a look inside this thing. All right, we've got all the screws out. There's two little ones on here. Looks like the metal metal ones. So they're in the pot down there. The back comes off with a couple of little clips which hold them in place. And then it comes open as such. Woo, there's a spring there. There's a spring, there's a piece of plastic, and there is, where's that other circle gone? The button. Ah, hello. So it looks like we've got three pieces of plastic there which go together, which do form the locking mechanism. So I'm guessing that this wasn't properly attached together and I've got to figure out which way around that all goes when we go back into it. So, one battery compartment there. Okay, that goes underneath. Reset button's on top of it. So you need to get into here now. Oh, screws are absolutely tiny. Should really zoom you in so you can see a lot better actually. I need a magnet. To get a magnet off my TV. Thank you. This looks very over engineered. I wouldn't say it's actually been Somebody's been in here before. These screws seem quite tight anyway. That's four. It seems very odd where the reset button is. It's not straight. Okay, so that's off of there. That would probably come off as well, connecting the batteries together. Him, tweezers, maybe, no. There's nothing actually at all on this. There's a ribbon cable there which goes to the screen, which we've got to be trying to get be delicate with, from being like a bull in a china shop. I'm thinking that does un... It looks like it would pull out. I'm not 100% certain. It looks like these two screws here might have to come out as well. The reset button. Yeah. There we go. That's out. All screws on the screwdriver. Still doesn't want to come out. Because there's one behind there. And one behind there. Aha! This is over-engineered. Very, very over-engineered. Yeah. Never had one of these. I don't know what they are. Oh, look at that for a membrane for a compute, for a keyboard. Hmm. So membrane comes out. That wouldn't pull from there, but it does look very weak on there. Where's the the gubbins, the mechanisms? Where's the chip? Hmm. So the keyboard's there. Must everything must be in the back here. Which is worrying me, because I'm about to break something. That's better. That's off. There's another there's another spring inside there. Okay. So lots of nice things, and everything wires up straight towards where they're in this part here. So let's see if this will come off. I'm assuming there may be some sort of screw on here. Are you out? Yeah, no, it's not. There's no screw. It's just clipped together. A little price tool like this is is quite invaluable when it comes to this. Right. So we have a crystal, we have a speaker, we have another four screws. 
Oh, lordy. Actually, let's get rid of that. Put another little magnet on the screwdriver. Try and keep them separate in case they are different. I'm not taking the grey section off. Those like that goes straight into the the front as a front panel for the screen as well. Hoping this board comes out. Leaving us with there. God, that is absolutely nothing. Hmm. Small chip there. I don't know exactly how this works, but it does. And let's have a let's get you zoomed in a lot, shall we? Does look help me out a lot anyway. Merlin 2S? What? Main board. Hmm. You got COM1, COM3, COM. Wow, okay. Bridging. Where are we? This is how small these are. Okay, there's not really absolutely nothing to these. I think I'll put that dirt behind there. Nope. Hmm. So it didn't work, but it does work. And now it definitely doesn't work. So let's come back in a few minutes while I figure out exactly what, where and how this pile of junk now belongs. Hmm. This is, this is such a collection of bits, of parts. Now everything's obviously into the chip which is buried underneath that anyway. But there's nothing else to it. There's a, there's a capacitor there. We have a Y1, it's like the crystal, timing crystal, a few resistors, for, for the, I think this was, this late 90s, I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, they sell it as a, as a handheld travel game and PDA alarm calendar sort of thing. But, yeah. For what it is, there ain't much at all you get for your money. And I had to think how much this was when it was first out. But I've got a hell of a collection of parts here. So, yeah. Okay, I wonder what I can do with this. It does work. Do I just stick them all back together again and see what's what? Play some games with it? Or do I just show you that this is a parts of Merlin 2? Full strip down. Yeah, we'll do with that. I mean, I'll put this back together at my own pace. Yeah, at my own pace, I think, anyway, because I don't know what to do with this. I mean, the other Merlins are quite easy to do. It's it's a shame that I can't do anything with a keyboard. A little tiny, tiny little keyboard like this might be useful on something. I don't know. But okay. Right, that's, I'm, I'm end the video there anyway, because I'm, I'm going to see if I can do anything with this in the future. So no point in putting it back together at present. And so you've seen it actually working, so that's a quick little video. It's not going to be a, a long Friday video, it'll be a quick snippet video I'm sure anyway, but yeah, that's your Merlin 2, stripped down to its bare essentials. If you've had one of these, please comment below. If you've stripped one of these down before, then tell me if I can do anything with this. Whether or not I could... Um, I don't know, maybe, well, it would be too small for a Raspberry Pi or something in there anyway. So, yeah, comment below, give us a shout, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. And if you thought it was pulling the wool over your eyes, bite together, power's on. Ta-da! See, I'm not as deaf as I look. Just, well, I am actually. <laughs>